Here in our results studio, we've been keeping across all the races, and what's clear is that it was a very good night for the Republicans. Not only did they extend their majority in the House of Representatives, but they won control of the Senate. That battle started very strongly in the state of Kentucky, when Mitch McConnell, who's the most senior Republican in the Senate, was easily re-elected. In fact, Republicans also took key seats from Democrats in several states, including in Arkansas, in Colorado, in Iowa, and in North Carolina. And that was actually the seat that clinched it for them and helped them deprive the Democrats of their Senate majority. But the exact breakdown of the Senate, well, that won't be known for several weeks. And that's because of what happened here in the state of Louisiana. They have special rules here. Neither of these candidates won more than 50% of the vote, and that means that they will go to a runoff election but that won't take place until December the 6th. Now, midterm elections are often a referendum on the president's popularity. And with Mr Obama's ratings very low, many Democrats have suffered from being too close to him politically. Now, he may suffer too. The Republicans are in control of both houses of Congress, which means they will set the agenda in Washington for the next two years.